both men and women, and then again shuffle forwards to meet another dreaded SS man who would decide our fate. We were not permitted to converse, but as we shuffled forward, the man be immediately behind me, who I had never seen before, leaned forward and whispered to me, if by chance he asks you your age, say you're 17. I just passed my 14th birthday. Okay, let me just switch my engine off. What you're listening to is the 75th anniversary of the Alps. I can't, I may, forgive me for pronouncing it wrong. Outsbridge camp that the the Jewish suffered during the Second World War, the concentration camp. Now, I'm, I'm going to make this very short today. Now, my question, I've always wondered this. What the hell did the Jewish people do that was so bad to warrant the treatment that they received? Now, please, I'm not interested today. I'm talking about what they did in what, why did they deserve? I mean, I don't, in my, in my opinions, no one deserved that, that sort of treatment, but I will come to the exceptions in a minute. Right. But on the surface, they didn't deserve that kind of treatment, what they received during the 1930s and forties. Right. Now, when I asked the question, what the hell did they do that was so bad to warrant such treatment? I'm not talking about what was done hundreds of years before the 1930s or thousands of years before the 1930s, right? I'm talking about what could they have possibly done in recent times leading up to that? Because for me to put you in a concentration camp and separate you from, from your family, slaughtered children, for fuck's sake, man. For me to do that, I can't, I can't think of a situation where I would want to slaughter children, to be honest with you, and, you know, innocent people. The only way I would treat somebody like that is if you metaphorically, you metaphorically was responsible for the torture and the death of my family and loved ones. Let's say, for example, I don't know, you you caught one of my brothers, put him up in a cage like that, um, ISIS did, poured... Um, gasoline or fuel over him and set him alight and and the video watched the, vi the world watched the video of my brother burning up in, in a cage for all to see now if i caught you and i overpowered you trust me concentration camp would be the least of your worries my god you you'll be you'll be begging for a concentration camp by the time i finish with you but that's the only circumstance where i would think that i would treat another human being as bad or me even worse but a nation of people just getting by doing their stuff just paying the bills feeding the family going to work what the fuck did they do i just can't get my head around that i just wow wow like i said please please don't leave comments about what was done 100 years ago before that or thousands of, I'm not we could talk about that another time today we're not talking about that today we are talking about the treatment what what warranted the treatment they deserved during the 1930s that that's all I'm talking about today we could leave the other other subjects for another day I'm willing to talk about that but today we're not talking about that okay thank you very much that's all I wanted to share with you right um Hope you're having a good day and speak to you later. Bye.